Now, in July 2024, the country's attention was drawn to the disturbing discovery of human remains dumped at a quarry at Mukuru Kwanjenga here in Nairobi. A prime suspect was quickly identified by the police who, in a twist of irony and incompetence, escaped from their custody. Tonight, Ngina Kirori revisits the quarry murders through an update from first responders and, and the Mukuru Social Justice Center, which was the first to raise their alarm over the human remains. <laughs> police singled him out as a prime suspect in the murder of a whooping 42 women, after which he allegedly dumped them at quarry dump site. One would have expected that a keen eye would have been kept on Collins Jumaisi, but alas, his escape from Gigiri police station degraded the belief that the puzzle behind the infamous quarry murders would finally be solved. Today, representatives from the Mukuru Social Justice Center, who are the first to break the news about the dump human remains released a report titled quarry the aftermath where they reveal what happened after police and security apparatus took over the scene of crime First responders divulged that they faced more intimidation after they retrieved more bodies from the quarry. After retrieving nine bodies on the first day, protests erupted in the community and the police started to engage Mukuru residents in running battles. The cases of police brutality increased. As if finding bodies in the quarry was not traumatizing enough, 15 people were shot by police, officers from Kuru police station. One person died as a result. The Social Justice Center says they went on with the retrieval process for two weeks before the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI, told them to halt the search as they were engaging with the Nairobi County Government Disaster Management Team. The situation of the psychological struggle has additionally been compounded and compounded by unceasing phone calls, harassments and threats from unknown people who are suspects to be the Kenya police. Only six of the 18 bodies recovered have been identified. The stench of death may have dissipated in the air in this quarry behind me, otherwise known as quarry, a name which has become synonymous with one of the most horrific discoveries of human remains the country has ever witnessed, yet remains a case grown cold, just as many others have. Ngena Kirori, Mukuru Kwanjenga, Kware, Nairobi County.